So here's triangle OAB. And the angle bisect of O meet AB at C. So these two angles are equal. So angle bisect. Then we need to prove OA over OB equals to AC over CB. We can see the AC and the AB, they are same directions, which means if we let AB is a vector and then AC will be the same vector but with different length. So that length of AC will be a fraction of the length of AB. So if I let the fraction be the K, then I can say the AC is equals to K times AB. Then CB will become AB minus K times AB, which equals to one minus K of AB. And then if I let OA be position vector of A and OB position vector of B. So then the whole question now we transfer to M to prove magnitude of vector A over magnitude of vector B should be equals to K times AB over 1 minus K times AB. And the AB and AB, we can cancel out. So now we aim for to proving magnitude of A over magnitude of vector B equals to K and over 1 minus K. So this is our aim to prove that. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to prove it by using vectors. Okay, I'm going to construct a rhombus using OA is one of the side. So then I make a point on OB, I call it E, which makes OE is equals to OA. So these two sides will be adjacent side of rhombus. Then I, from A, draw a line parallel to OB. And from E, I draw a line parallel to OA. And then meet at B. And then the line OC extending L will be meet at B. Because I construct in the rhombus and the diagonal of the rhombus bisect the angle at the vertex. Since OC was bisect at angle O, so my OC would be the diagonals of the rhombus OADE are constructed. So from this drawing here, we can get some vectors which we can use into proving the theory. Okay. So first one, we can find the vector of OE. So that would be equals to, same as vector of B, since it's on the same line as OB, but of course you can see different length. So what is the length of OE? It will be same of the length of OA which is same as the magnitude of A when the B has magnitude of B I make a univector B first and then times the magnitude of A which is the same length of OA. So this is the vector of OE. Same length 
of OA but on the direction of vector B. Then from there, I can find um, vector of OD. So OD will be the sum of vector of OA plus OE. So which equals to OA, the A plus OE, which is and then we're going to use the OD to find the vector of OC. And the vector OC, you can see it's the same direction as OD, but of course, again, is different length of OD. So I make the length of OC is a fraction of the length of OD. And that fraction I call the mu. So I just do the mu times the vector of OD, which is A plus So that's OC. From the OC, then we can find the AC, vector AC. So vector AC would be equals to vector of AO plus vector of OC. And the vector of AO would be negative A. And the OC is okay, which I tidy them up become mu minus one of vector a plus mu times a b and c. So that's vector of a c. So that's the important results for vector of a c is equals to this. But from another point of view, we also can find the vector of a c is same vector of AB, but the length is K times the whole length of AB. So then the AC also will be equals to K times the vector of AB. And the vector of AB is equals to vector B minus vector A. So this is the second sentence I found of a C, which equals to that. But they all representing the same vector of a C. So I'm going to equate them. Therefore, mu minus one with the vector a plus mu times magnitude of A of magnitude of vector B with B vectors that's supposed to be equals to K times B minus A and then since they equal I can equate the vector A with the left hand side and right hand side so vector A is the mu minus 1 on the left hand side and on the right hand side is the negative k. So I have mu minus 1 of that equals to negative k of vector a. And also equate a vector of b, I will have mu of vector a magnitude of vector b magnitude of b equals to k of vector b. So from there, we can say, therefore, this is equal to this, and that will be equal to that. So I'm going to write a two sentence. So therefore, mu minus 1 is equal to negative k. And then mu times equals to k. So from here, I can say the mu is equals to 1 minus k and I sub that mu into the second one here so then we can have 1 minus k times 
is equal to k. And then rearrange that sentence. I have this over this is equals to k over 1 minus k. So this is the sentence we want to prove and initially I write on my left of my whiteboard here. So that's the proving of the theorem. If you found this video useful, subscribe and leave a like. And let me know what other things you'd like to watch me explain.